Hi, my name is Jacqueline Davis, and this is my brain. My journey with schizoaffective disorder is likely compared to a baseball field. Faces one through four. I'd like to share my story today through photography and self-portraits. I've labeled all the bases, base one, confusion, base two, isolation, base three, acceptance, and base four, empowerment. I'd like to share each of those bases and how it pertains to my story. Base one, confusion. Schizoaffective disorder was something I thought was the farthest thing from me before getting diagnosed at 17. It was an interesting topic on MTV's True Life, but it wasn't my life, and I was pretty far removed from it, so I thought. I never really knew a single person who came out with their disease to me, and I thought I had never met a person with serious mental illness. And I think that was a big part of my ignorance toward the mental health community. According to NAMI, 63% of African Americans believe that having a mental illness is a sign of weakness. I later dropped out of high school, later receiving my GED. Closer to 17, I did have a psychotic break and I remember just going out of the window and falling into the mud, running as fast as I could, and luckily a search team found me. The kindest woman took me into her house and dressed me up into her clothes. She even cleaned me off and brought me back to my parents. And for that, I'm always going to be so grateful. I landed in the psych ward and my experience there was not very good. According to a doctor's study from the National Institute of Health, schizophrenia and those with serious mental illness are less likely to get the care they need because of stigma. Base two, isolation. I was in the hospital for two months, almost becoming institutionalized. I would beg who I call God to get me out of the situation and send me home. And I nagged the staff so hard and I was a little bit better, so they let me go home to my parents. It was there that my wonderful parents and family nursed me back to health, administered my meds, made sure I got what I needed to help me get better. It turned out that my mental health would not be my only fight, that I would actually be dealing with physical health problems that kind of might have contributed to my downward spiral in the first place. It actually took going to the Mayo Clinic to find out what was really going on with me. And when I was 22, I received my first IVIG treatment, which really jump-started my path to recovery. Base three, acceptance. Acceptance is always evolving for me as I learn more about myself, my illnesses and my triggers daily. I'm lucky to have a very supportive family that was supportive from the start and as we navigate the mental health world together, I'm learning how lucky I am to have that. I know that acceptance isn't always taking your medicine at the same time every day. It's not always having a routine or informing your friends. It's how you feel about yourself. And even if mental illness is not your problem, there is a faith that you have to have for yourself in this world, and that is not something I always knew. I always had strength, but I didn't always feel good about myself. I'm learning to work hard every day through affirmations, prayer, and gaining new friendships. I am learning to appreciate life, Alabama, and its growing arts community. And I know now that I can do anything if I am able to put myself out there, I can overcome. It isn't enough to persevere sometimes. It's okay to adult when you're scared. My throat clutches my heart and my back seems to turn into knots every single time I feel like I'm walking outside of what I know. 
but I know now that I have to go after what's unknown because that's where I'm going to find where I truly belong. So we got to the home run, empowerment. At age 29, I've been able to start the online growing platform called Safe Place Art. I named it Safe Place Art because I always wanted a safe place, somewhere that I could create and call home. And I know a lot of people who are disabled feel the exact same way. So I called it Safe Place Art. I work with everyone, but I love highlighting disabilities and highlighting my story. And I love connecting with other people that have similar circumstances. I also love sharing my talents. So that's something that really fulfills me and empowers me. I've also been able to be on local New York television. I've been able to record an EP that I wrote and have that recording studio experience. As I remind myself all the things that make me human and more than schizophrenic and more than disabled, I hope that you can tell yourself how special you are. I love my skin and I'm learning to love myself, not just on a good day. We all have our stories and I hope mine inspired you today. I am a daughter, a sister, and a friend. My name is Jacqueline, and this is my brave.